October 15, 1962, CIA photo analysts make a stunning discovery. The Soviets are building missile sites in Cuba, just 100 miles from Florida. Nuclear war has come to America's doorstep. Very famously, the Soviet missiles that are deployed in Cuba in 1962 are found by overhead reconnaissance. But they're not found by a Corona photo reconnaissance satellite, rather they're found by a manned U-2 photo reconnaissance aircraft. It's a U-2 that first finds the missiles. But the spy plane's vulnerability is exposed again when one is shot down over Cuba and its pilot killed. America needs a spy platform that can combine the U-2's high-resolution imagery with Corona's safe overflight. May 11, 1963, a new satellite called Gambit sits on the pad when an air bubble in its fuel tank triggers the rocket's collapse. So two months later, they try again. The successful launch places a high-resolution camera in space for the first time. High resolution provided by the Gambit-1 system offered a fundamentally different class of information than what you could get from Corona. High resolution spatial details of things like a Soviet naval vessel or aircraft or radar dish allowed you to start characterizing some of its operational parameters and not simply identify what it is. By the mid-1960s, Corona and Gambit are launching almost once a month. Their success creates a whole new problem. How do you recover all this film from space? The satellite ejects a film capsule to drop northwest of Hawaii. It streaks through the atmosphere, lighting up the sky like a shooting star. A team of Air Force planes flies in a grid pattern over the ocean. Their goal, to snag the film capsule before it hits water. As a plane gets ready to make a pass, the air crew lets out catch lines. This is one of the hooks that the Air Force used to retrieve the very first film that was returned from space. The way the system would work is that two of these hooks would be attached to the harness out the back end of the aircraft. The aircraft would fly over the parachute, and one of these hooks would snagged the parachute, and that film was returned to the United States where it was developed and used for intelligence purposes. 